Flood water is headed this way and Jefferson City residents are raising concerns. Sedalia residents have a new way to get tornado help. And tornado help in Joplin too. This isn't New Orleans. KMU 8 News at 6 starts now. From Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News at 6. What do you do when your house blows away? Some Joplin tornado victims are finding out. Good evening, I'm Allison Archer. And I'm Jim Reek. Thanks for joining us. FEMA is moving families into temporary housing today for the first time since the May 22nd tornado. We sent a team of reporters to Joplin yesterday. We covered everything from the Humane Society trying to find missing pets to how the National Weather Service determined the tornado had 250 mile an hour winds. We also followed a demolition team knocking down houses and a Louisiana team fixing jambalaya for the volunteers. But we begin with the FEMA team moving Joplin families into trailers. It is the quickest way we can house people. It's just incredible. The first Joplin family moved in today. FEMA even pays the utility bills for those families. As far as another tornado, the trailers are tied down as well as possible. Tonight at 10, missing pets in Joplin. What the Humane Society is doing to get pets and pet owners back together. While rebuilding efforts continue in Joplin, Sedalia, the torna tornado there three weeks ago, still has many residents reeling. That's right, KMUH's Reggie Wilson tells us why disaster victims in Pettis County can now apply for some financial help. The disaster unemployment assistance, Sedalia. To find out if you qualify for unemployment disaster benefits and how to apply, visit our website at KOMU.com. A house fire on Creasy Springs Road leaves a Boone County man homeless this evening. About 20 firefighters from Columbia and the Boone County Fire Districts responded to the blaze about 345. No one was hurt when KOMU 8 arrived. Investigators had not determined the cause or where the fire started. It's going to be a significant loss, probably a total loss on the structure and contents. Um, we had heavy heat and smoke damage throughout the entire building. Amron UE was also on the scene investigating a natural gas leak in the front lawn. Firefighters say it is not related to the fire. Missouri, 61 degrees, so a comfortable start to your day, but we are going to have the heat turned up high as we head on into the weekend. I'll detail your forecast coming up. All right, thanks, Michelle. MoDOT closed parts of Interstate 29 in northwest Missouri today because of the Missouri River flooding. That water is making its way downstream to mid-Missouri. Camu 8's Matt Moreno shows what residents and officials are doing in preparation for the Missouri's river's rise. Residents and officials aren't wasting any time when preparing for the threat of flood water. 8 News, Jefferson City. Experts say floods are worse this year after record snowfall and rain in northern states. Many Missouri River towns are waiting for the flooding during the next few weeks, and relief funds may already be on the way. Mm -hmm. KMU 8's Allie Spilliards is live at the Missouri River. With your first look at local news, Allie, there's potential for some federal aid. Expected to rise. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Allie Spilliards, KMU 8 News. Okay, thank you, Allie. Columbia principals and teachers reacted today um, after the Board of Education proposed a budget that would that would take police officers out of middle school and junior high schools. KOMU 8's Brianna Jones tells us how one school feels about having to share what could be the last SRO. Students have emptied the halls for summer, and if the Board of Education approves Columbia. The budget calls for 15 other cuts in addition to the two resource officers. The board will vote on that budget at its next meeting. Well, to leave it be or to build a trail? That's the question on the minds of conservationists in Columbia. And construction crews had some extra hands help out on the sidewalks. That's coming up. And after a calm day across the area today, we're going to see some spotty showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Stick around for my forecast coming up right after this break. With meteorologist Michelle Bogowitz. Welcome back at 612. You are taking a gorgeous live. The locations you see below in Lowe's in Columbia, Jefferson City, or West Lakes Hardware in Fulton, because it's going to be a scorcher this mm -hmm. weekend, and I'm sure a lot of people could really use a fan. Sure could. Thank you, Michelle. Yep. The Columbia Public Works Street Division had extra hands of help with sidewalk repairs today. Clients from Job Point 
Work to fix the sidewalk at 8th and Broadway. Job Point is the agency that helps people in the community prepare for the workforce through things like career counseling. High school students also offered a lending hand with those summer repairs. Before you can take a nature walk, someone needs to clear the path. That's right. Columbia groups are at odds on what to do with Scott's Branch Park. Fourth Ward Councilman Daryl Dudley is sponsoring the final public interest meeting tonight over the Scotts Branch Trail. KOMU 8's Alex Klingelhafer is live at the ARC. Alex, there's a new proposal on the table. What's the sticking point? Well, Jim, the sticking point's pretty simple. Both the Bonnie View Nature Area yeah. live from Columbia. Alex Klingelhaver, KOMU 8 News. All right, Alex, thank you very much. It was a night to remember for a special boy. All thanks to a local baseball team. Welcome back. Here's a recap of my day extended forecast. We will see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms for your afternoon tomorrow. And then temperatures really start to heat up as we head on into your weekend. And it is Father's Day on Sunday. And first step tonight in photo finish. Here's a hungry pup. Brianna and Steven Thonin from Mexico sent a picture of their 12-week-old Cocker Spaniel grabbing a midnight snack. And Gina Branch sent us this lovely photo of her daughter, June, hanging off a tree. June turns two years old tomorrow on June 16th. Send us photos and the stories behind them. We'll put them on KOMU 8 News at 5 and 6. Just email them to KOMU or share it at KOMU.com. Also, we'll, we will have reaction to the uh, controversial Scotts Branch Trail proposal. That's coming and up at 9 and 10, yes, and the react oh, and you've got Joplin the Humane Society trying to get the pets and the pet owners back together. So that's, that's right. coming up tonight on K1U8 News at 10. Viva Las Vegas!